Welcome back guys. The Ultimate General franchise has got a new game come out. Now it's in early, early, early access. It's only available through Game Lab's own game launcher. So you can't get it on Steam. I don't think it's going to be available for about another six months or so. So there's probably going to be quite a few bugs in the game. But I'm pretty excited to jump into it. Now, I have played for a couple of hours just to get to grips with the game and see how it plays. Unfortunately, it does play like Age of Sail rather than Civil War, which is a shame because I think the Ultimate General Civil War is one of the best games ever made. And the Age of Sail is not particularly my cup of tea. But. I, I wanted to play it anyway, so we're going to jump in. I've started a new campaign. I'm only playing it on normal difficulty because I am a complete noob to this particular game. And I need to learn how everything works before I bump the difficulty up. So, at the beginning... One thing that I will say is these militia that you start off with, you can only recruit three infantry in them. Now, I think there is a way to disband them and then recruit new ones. Is it this here? Yeah. So... If you recruit new ones, you can get four militia. Now, I don't know if these are line infantry. I think they might be. So I think that is the best thing to do. Now, you do get a scripted mission right at the beginning. If you move towards Providence, you get the Lexington and Concord mission. So, let's jump in and do that. Right, before we do that, I want to see if you can create... You can create them right from the beginning. So, let's set up a new militia. Now, you won't have access to cannons for quite a while. In my couple of hours of experience, I didn't actually get round to building any cannons, so it's just going to be militia for now. Let's see if we can get another one. Now, when you get new headquarters, you need officers to be able to crew the headquarters. So, I don't actually know how many of these militia it's worth getting. Because I might need these officers. But if I need them, I'll just scrap them. So let's get one in each city. So each city produces their own recruits. So putting them all in the same city is not a good idea. Because down here you have recruits. And each city has their own pool, so you want to spread them across all your different cities. And let's jump into the first battle. Now, there is a an option at the beginning of the game to get a free warship. You can do that if you want. Um, I just aren't really interested in playing naval stuff at the beginning. I'd rather concentrate on the land battles. The British have <laughs> a far superior navy. So it's going to be a long time, I reckon, until you actually can compete at sea. So I'd rather just concentrate on the armies. Right, if we have a look... Let's see if we can jump into the garrison first. Uh, do you want to jump into the garrison? 
Ah, we got the battle before I had a chance. That's unfortunate. Wanted to see if I could recruit some more. But I think this should be fine. So I think all of these units in this battle are not your own units. So I don't think the casualties matter too much, but obviously you don't want to take casualties unless you have to. So we want to defend this area, I reckon. So the British are going to be coming from this area. So let's withdraw and jump in these fortifications here. And then we will be getting reinforcements. So let's speed up the time a bit. Just gonna see if we can protect this area for now. Because we are most likely gonna get pushed back and have to retake that area. So I'm not really gonna concentrate on flanking at the beginning. Just see if we can hold the line as best as possible. I don't think there's any point in manning these because they're pointing the wrong way. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea if it works the way Civil War works. And I don't think it does, but it's be better to be safe than sorry. Are you going to jump in? Are you going to jump in? I much prefer the Civil War style game. It's a lot smoother than the Age of Sail mechanics, but unfortunately they decided to go for the Age of Sail. Which is a shame. It would have been nice if this was like Ultimate General Civil War, but with better graphics. Sadly, that is not to be. I might jump out here and see if I can help out. You're all getting flanked a bit there. You're all getting some reinforcements coming now though. I think I am just going to bring them into this area and just try and protect this objective. Because these are going to disintegrate pretty soon, I reckon. Now you can tell your troops to kneel down if you put them on hold. I don't know what difference it makes, but it is supposedly better than 
not doing so. Alright, I think I might bring this one over here. We're obviously getting flanked a bit. Now your troops seem to get exhausted really fast in this game, even when they're just firing. But from the small amount of experience I've had, melee seems to be the way forward. Which is a shame, because it doesn't really make sense that you're going to charge in all the time when you're exhausted, but that seems to be the best way to play. Okay, so I think I'm going to retreat with these now and replace them. Come on with these larger divisions. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay, things are looking bit better over here. Got quite a lot of reinforcements coming in. Let's get these ready to flank. Let's bring these weakened units around. In fact, I might just tell them to fire. Now we are getting charged here. I think we should be okay. Are we actually firing? Yep. No, it's blocked. more reinforcements coming in. Let's bring them over here. Alright, let's see if we can get some shots into the side of them. Unfortunately, trying to move skirmishers and line infantry at the same time is awkward because they go in front of each other. But really, I, I want to see if I can play the game realistically and not just charge in all the time. 
I do find it a little bit unrealistic. So I'm gonna try and play the game with firearms. I think it'll provide for a better experience. Although if they do get in combat, probably is a good idea to charge more than one unit in. Okay, back away. Right, we're getting a nice flank on the go here. I might bring these skirmishers all the way around here. Getting some captures, which is nice. Getting the skirmishers filling the holes in the back. The skirmishers move a lot faster. So they are the best for trying to chase after the fleeing units. Okay, we've got a nice encirclement going on here. Oh, they've got a supply wagon back there. Yeah, even these skirmishers are, are not <laughs> really great at charging down fleeing units. Unfortunately, the fleeing units can move faster than your fastest unit, sadly. And apparently they can just retreat straight through your lines. Which is quite annoying. See if we can capture them supplies. Don't know if capturing actually works in this with it being alpha. I think captures don't actually do anything if you capture guns and supplies.
But all in all, I think this has gone really smoothly. Okay, I think that is it. We can't actually end the mission yet until the timer runs out. <laughs> so it looks like I've... Oh, there's a man still left. Maybe he can. If we kill him. Yeah, trying to actually get them into positions quite awkward on this game when they're all bunched up like this. <laughs> you just end up with all these blocked mess messages. <laughs> right, well, apparently it's still not ending the mission. There might be someone hidden. But I think we just have to wait for the timer to count down. Not too bad. Got a lot of captures. But yeah, there's no tab on that screen to say captured equipment, so... I don't think capturing guns and supply wagons and stuff actually works. Okay, so we got a new division. We got some troops. So, looks like... Looks like the new division is in Leicester, unless that was one of the... Uh, this is the new division here. Right, okay. So let's pull him back to Leicester. So he is still recruiting. Let's stick all of these in the garrison. Come on, <laughs> go in the garrison. So they will replenish their supplies and stuff in the garrison. Now what I wanted to do was see if these needed... Yeah, they do. They need more troops adding to them. So let's do that. Now really, I want to come out and try and take the other cities. So I don't really want to be sitting in here replenishing for ages. He's got four divisions, that's good. He has a continental army, so... He doesn't need scrapping. Uh, maybe he's not a continental army, or whatever, a line, Fusilier, that's what it is, because they are militia, 
And he's only got three. Right, okay. So we need to scrap him. It's sad to do that. But I want to be able to have armies of four divisions, not three. So hopefully that means that these will build up quicker. Now at some point we will get access to the headquarters, but I think we might need to take Providence for that to happen. So, yeah, it's going to be ages for these to actually get the men, unfortunately. So I think what I'm going to do is just sally forth and take Providence and Newport. I'll just have to make sure that I don't lose them divisions that have only got 20 men. Ah, right, I've got access to the headquarters now, so I don't actually need to take Providence yet. That's good. So, what you can do is spend reputation to do these research projects quicker and these first ones that you get are quite important to get done as fast as possible so that's what we're gonna do right looks like this divisions full so let's bring him out And then, can I create another division yet? No. Five is the maximum. Okay. So what I might do is send one of these that I'm waiting for extra troops. down into Hartford so he gets his troops quicker. I'm going to send the general as well because they seem to move faster when they've got the general watching over them. Right, so we unlocked the chief engineer. And then we can pay for factories, which increases the production points. And then we can only get research speed at the moment, so let's do that. And then we need a quartermaster, so let's do that and then pay reputation for the quartermaster. And now we have access to production facilities, so we want muskets. And I've never actually built cannons before, but I'm going to set cannons to build. And we want ammunition. Now up here you've got production points. So these are saying infinite time to complete because we've got the civilian muskets set to maximum. So we're going to need to reduce this so they do actually build these other things. So I don't actually know what the best scenario is here so let's just go for one ammunition two 
artillery and two muskets. I might end up needing to increase the ammunition. I don't. I don't really know. I haven't played enough of the game to to know how fast we need to produce ammunition. Right, as men are walking round, they get they lose. Well, it looks like this is from disease, but you also get deserters as well. Now, if you go into uh, headquarters on this, you can increase the salary, which stops them from deserting. But because we haven't got any deserters quite yet, or at least I don't think we have, no, doesn't look like anybody has deserted. But if you are getting desertions, you can increase the salary to prevent that from happening. And I think if you increase the bounty, oops, then you get more recruits. So you get a recruiting bonus if you increase the bounty. So that's one way to increase the amount of recruits that you get. But I don't think we need to do that quite yet. Okay, so we've actually got a militia unit at Leicester. Now, I've just noticed just noticed that we're above our army size. So that militia that I scrapped was probably not a good thing to do because we weren't able to recruit another one. So we need to increase the army size by constructing military infrastructure in regions. Recruiting buildings and settlements. And researching projects. Okay, so we've just had... Hmm, construct production infrastructure. Now, I've never actually been able to get this to work. I, I, a production building factory in a region... But we haven't got access to a factory. So maybe it means the blacksmith's house, possibly. It could possibly mean the blacksmith's house. So let's try building it and see if it works. And we've got 414 recruits that we can get in here. Where did... That was Leicester that this new unit went to. So... Yeah, we can't actually get any more recruits there. So, let's build... What do we need for this? Military infrastructure, recruiting buildings. So, let's build a recruitment house. It only says recruits plus 50%. It doesn't actually say anything about increasing your army size, but... It's telling me to do military buildings, so let's just see if it works. And then I think in here, I think Portsmouth is quite a difficult place to defend. So it might be a bit of a risk spending money in here. It's only 700 quid. It's not the end of the world. So, one thing I did notice, if you leave cities on 
manned, they get taken pretty aggressively by the AI. So I don't particularly want to leave these frontline cities unmanned. Right, let's have a look here. See how fast these go up. Enemy reinforcements are coming. Okay. Right, is that just filled? Yeah, that filled it up immediately. So, obviously, when you get that ding, it refills it if you've got recruits available. So, I don't know whether that's once a day. I'd imagine it's once a day. Okay, so we can take these out of here again now. And then, let's send everybody to Providence. So it might take a while for Stevens to catch up. So I might just fight without him. Oh, he's actually catching up pretty quickly. Okay, I think I've actually set a recruiting house going. Or did I? No, I didn't. It was the blacksmith's house. So let's set a recruiting house going as well. And then let's start this battle. I'm not going to wait for Stevens to catch up. He can help take Newport. They haven't got that many men here. Right, so my men are facing this way, so you would assume that's where the enemy are going to come from. We can actually see one, so that is definitely where the enemy are coming from. So I think what I'm going to do, let's tell these to go, although we have got a massive numbers advantage, so could just go on the attack, but just want to form up the ranks first before I go on the attack. Get everybody together. They may end up retreating, I don't know. Doesn't look like they're retreating yet. Might be able to do some damage to them. But ideally, we want to try and surround them if we can. Well, we're not going to get the chance. That's a shame. When they retreat, they retreat so fast that we haven't got chance to chase them down, sadly. Dragoons would be nice. I might even do that in this playthrough. Rush Dragoons. And see if we can get a Dragoon army on the go. I do enjoy using cavalry in these games. Okay, let's see if we can do some damage from the campaign map. Alright, Stevens has decided he doesn't want to move anymore. So let's tell everybody 
to come down to Newport. Come on, guys, come down to Newport, please. Can it looks like the officer can't. Interesting. He's actually coming out. So it looks like the officer can't take cities. The general. So uh, we are going to need to use the infantry to take the city. Right, I think I might have forgot, yeah, I forgot to set something going, so let's get this artillery going, and then, I don't know if I'm going to be using wagons, but let's set it going anyway. We need to assign somebody. Okay. So, I think they're facing that way, yep. Now, I don't actually know if taking these objectives actually does anything. Might increase your morale. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I'm just going to ignore them. Now, I've got a feeling they are just going to run away from me again. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's really frustrating, that is. Well, they're running in very strange areas, so we might actually get some kills here. You'd imagine that they'd run away from me and not <laughs> directly towards me. So we did get a few extra kills. You could try and take out this uh, artillery. He seems to be moving pretty slow. Well, <laughs> he lost sight of him, so he stopped chasing him. That's a bit annoying. Right, cool. We took out an artillery battery. Right. 
Right, we've got the artillery department now. We haven't got any officers for it. That's interesting. We've got loads of officers for this. Wonder if one of these can actually go in here. Let's try swapping him. Hey, check that out. He actually worked. Interesting. So I wonder why none of the others can go in here, but he can. Maybe they need over a certain number on the stats. Not sure. Okay. Barracks. Yeah, why not? Ah, we can actually increase the factories. So let's see. Oh, we actually got one of them to surrender. That's brilliant. Providence captured. Ah. He looks like he's retreating all the way to Hartford. That's not good. Right. Well, let's tell Blackwood to capture Newport. And then it looks like we've suddenly got a load of army size. Not sure what increased that, but I'll take it. So let's get a militia. Ah, we haven't got an officer. Why have we not got a military officer? Now, there's a chance one of these is a military officer. I don't actually know. So let's do that. We can't change him. Can we recruit one now? No. That's unfortunate. So we need more officers. Now unfortunately, when these retreat, <laughs> they retreat and take your cities, which is rather annoying. Because they can retreat faster than you can chase them. Looks like we've been able to catch him, which is nice. Right, let's... How many men have we got? Eleven. Right, let's just bring him up to Providence then. Newport captured. Let's keep chasing him. Let's tell George to... Get these weapons. I don't know if he can, but hopefully he can. Yep, looks like the general can capture weapons. That's nice. So I can actually get rid of this militia guy now. So I can get a unit with four in. So I think I might do that. Got a militia unit in Leicester. Um, no I haven't. It was in Hartford. It said Leicester. Okay, fair enough. Now, if I get rid of him, is that going to go into this recruit pool? Or is it going to get spread around? I don't actually know. So, 431, 234. Let's see what happens. So, you will receive 390 recruits. Yeah, so it went into the city that we 
disbanded him in. That's good. Right, that's good. So we need to now recruit a new one and get some more militia. Do the same thing. Oh, I didn't press apply. That's so annoying. Try again. And then do the same thing in Providence. Okay, nice. It looks like we've actually got Middleborough. But we haven't got another officer. So, I think we're going to try and capture Fort Stevens while we're going in this direction. I wonder if I can... Oh, that's probably a terrible idea. Yeah, chasing units down is so annoying in this game. It's the one thing I hate about Total War games is chasing people across a campaign map. I suppose it's realistic, it's just not fun. Okay, so, from what I can remember, I think they will take Middleborough and Portsmouth with rather large armies, so... Pennsylvania in Hartford, okay. Right, so if we disband this unit... Right, I think we've actually got another... Right, we've got three production points. I don't understand. I'm, it's saying I'm using three out of six, but I'm clearly using five. <laughs> so I don't... Oh, there we go. It just jumped up to six out of six. Right, so we've only got 11 ammunition, so let's go two, two, two. Now, I don't actually know how many cannons you need for a cannon brigade. Or division, or whatever they're called. Right. I just thought I can set things to build in here. So, I think materials might be in short supply, because it costs materials to build everything. So I think I'm going to build a carpenter shop. Can I change things or scrap things once they're built? I don't think I can.
Well, I'm not sure. But I'm going to build carpenter shops in everywhere. Just to speed up the uh, material production. I'm not going to do it in Portsmouth because I've got a feeling I'm going to lose Portsmouth. We need to produce muskets. Well, we're already on that. Is he actually moving? Yeah, he is. Right, looks like they're actually coming out to fight me. That's interesting. Let's see if we can take Fort Stevens while he's coming out to fight. Uh, he's retreating back in. Interesting. Right, capture Boston. I don't think that's going to happen, but we could try and make it happen. Route. Interesting. Why did he rout? That was strange. Right, he's made it over here now. So we're going to take Fort Stevens, but dealing with these running away units is so frustrating. Oh, he routed all the way to Portsmouth. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Well, let's see if we can corner Durham. It's going to be a while before I can do any of that stuff, but I can, if I want, get this officer recruitment. So I could spend reputation for this. And then get officer recruitment on the go. So we can get some more. Alright, what are we going to build in here? I think I'm just going to go for the carpenter's shop first. I don't think that I'm going to be able to capture him, but we can try it. God, chasing people around on this is so frustrating. Right, he managed to make it to Salem. Now, can I capture him if I get in front of him?
surely I can get him to retreat or surrender, sorry. Right, did I get this now yet? So let's get the officer recruitment. I'm going to use reputation for it. Yes, I got a surrender. Happy days. Right. Let's bring these over here. I might try and take Salem. Don't know if it's wise. But we're going to try it. Yeah, these are all exhausted. So I might need to just garrison them. I wonder if they gain the condition back without actually needing to be in a city. If they're just standing still. Let's find out. So there are 90 recruits that I could get. Oh, they're sallying forth. Interesting. I did not expect that. Well... Let's see if we can get this battle underway. I think what I'm going to do is call it an end to this episode. I think that's a good place to stop. And then I'll start this battle in the start of the next episode. So, hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. A lot of running around. But hopefully, there'll be a lot more action coming up. I might even try and take Boston. But, <laughs> I don't know whether that's going to happen. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers for watching. Take care. I shall see you soon.